You cannot leave Janet Tompkins. <laughs> instead of three because I'd like to read the intro for this piece in there. This is the book End Up and his editorialism and book comments from travel and the like. And he's taking pictures so I have to keep posing with my book. Um, so this first one I start with an excerpt from the book Changing Gears. It was about travel around the United States. Uh, this excerpt is chapter 13, New Mexico, February 19th. Joel Matthews was letting all us Chicago people stay at his place. The side door was perpetually open since no one knew when one person or another would have to get in. He is a big dog whose name escapes me that wants to sniff you and play with you all the time. It's a college abode. There, is an a there are ashtrays filled to the rim with cigarette butts on every cocktail table. There's a light blue vinyl covered couch. It's eclectic. So we read at this open mic and tried in vain in an attempt to organize our stuff at Joel's, and then we went to a cafe slash bagel shop called Fred's Bread for a testosterone-filled all-male poetry reading where Aaron read as well. And for the first time in three and a half months, I wrote a poem. Yeah. Want to hear it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just got tired of hearing all of these whining poets talk about <laughs> how their lives suck yeah. and then it's all bringing them to drink to excess, yeah. even more than me, mind you. And then I started thinking about musicians like Kurt Cobain and Michael oh, Hutchins in excess who killed themselves, apparently because being married and having infant children and being filthy rich and madly famous and adored by millions of fans is just too awful of a life. <laughs> And I hear all of these songs about taking drugs to relieve the stress or boredom or about people killing themselves or complaining about how little their life matters. So I wrote this poem, True Happiness in the New Millennium. Sometimes it seems the more I ask for, the less I receive. The only true freedom is freedom from the heart's desires. And the only true happiness this way lies. I'm here to ask you on a whole new millennium. I'm the new savior, the savior of science, the savior of strength, the savior of survival, survival of the fittest, survival of the best. And I'm here to tell you that we're starting anew. So fasten your seatbelts, hang on to your pants, place your seat trays in their upright and locked position, for it's a bumpy ride, and I'll tell you why. I'm here to usher in a whole new millennium, millennia of reason and logic and strength, and I don't want to hear about your self-destruction. I don't want to hear about your whining, psychosis, your depression, suicide, alcohol, and drugs, and just what made you think that playing with needles and escape would make things better somehow. God, I've always hated needles anyway. What is it with you people? Well, well, you need a leader, and I'm stepping up to the plate. You keep asking for a big brother, and I'm here to set you straight. You want someone to wipe your noses for you? Well, pick up the tissue and do it yourself. Because when you give up your rights, you take away mine, and we're not having any of that. I'm your Russia in a whole new millennium, and you say to me that you need crystal meth so that you can stay awake through work. And you say to me that you don't need to drink, that you just like the taste. And you say to me that with all your escapism, you still don't feel any better. And you say to me that sometimes suicide is the only answer. I'm here to tell you that there's a new millennium. I'm here to tell you that there's a new generation. So stop asking for things and start working for things. Because X is for ecstasy as long as it's fast. And X is for extra, but there's always a cost. And the, ex and the ecstasy doesn't come without extra work, no matter how many corners you cut. And you know, X is for x-ray. And I see right through that. <laughs> They say that Eve ate from the tree of knowledge, but you know, she shouldn't have stopped just there because the loggers are raping the trees of knowledge. The loggers are raping the forest of talent, the forest of ability, the forest of reason, of skill, of logic, perseverance, and life. We're letting them rape the forest of excellence, and you know it's now time to take it all back because I'm here to usher in a whole new millennium, and I'm here to tell you how it's going to be done. You're ask, looking for peace in all the wrong places. You're asking your leaders to save you from yourselves. Yeah. 
but your leader, leaders are losers, and they're yeah. worse off than you. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to usher in a whole new millennium, or it's time to take charge, and it's time to fess up, because only you can you deliver you from your own sins, but first you must know what sin really is. It's time to make choices, it's time to lay claim to everything we've been blindly giving away, because I'm here to usher in a whole new millennium. Take charge of yourself, and I'll take charge of me. I'm my leader, not yours. So wipe your own noses. <laughs> Take it in your own hands. People mold your own tools. This is the new millennium, and this is your chance, because no one should be showing us how to fail. People mastered that feat a millennia ago. So set your own rules and do something fast, because it's time to make, take charge, and it's time to be alive. I'm here to usher in a whole new millennium, and I'm waiting for you to usher in yours. <laughs> because uh, I won't wait long if you lag behind because I'm setting my rules. So get out of the way. I'm here to tell you that there's a new sensation. And I'm here to tell you that there's a new salvation. And the only true happiness this way lies. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. That was long, so I'm going to do one very short one from volume five from CCD Collection, and it's called Objectifiable. I've experienced it for I don't know how many years, men degrading women. When I was walking down the street today, a man in an ugly minivan stuck his head out of the window and to holler for me. Wow, lucky me. I'm still objectifiable. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs>